Okay, this is Martin Gibbons and this is from careerpsychometrics.com and this is a short video about career change. And so it's a very important subject this. And the truth is that unless you know some tricks then you're really in for some uh, disappointments. And that's what I'd like to avoid. So I'm hoping that you can take on board some of these very important points I'm about to make and use them. So the situation is that you probably hit about 40 or thereabouts and you've decided that there has to be something more to life than this. Fantastic. And as a result, you're now looking at a career change. I have to applaud that, something I support and endorse. So, no problem, you think. You were good at your previous work, or you are good at your existing work, and you figure that you can apply all that experience to your new thing. Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. At least, that's not how the recruitment process or the recruitment industry, the people in it, will see it. It's not how employers see it and it's not how recruitment agents and consultants see it. And we'll go on and explain why. You see, your announcement, your announcement to make this career change probably excites you terribly. Unfortunately, it upsets everybody in the recruitment process the traditional process. So if you want to make a job change, then you really need to go about it differently. For one thing, you cannot rely upon a CV-based recruitment. So your normal, and everybody's normal approach to getting a new job is the first thing to do is dust out your CV. Unfortunately, you need a completely different approach. Now by job change, I mean that you intend to do something quite different from your existing or your previous work, not just a small change here, a small shuffle there, we're talking about something significant. Now, having said that, even a small change is upsetting to the recruitment system. They are very uncomfortable about that. Okay, and do you know what career is actually right for you? Or are you about to make the same mistake again? Now, I come across people and I work with clients all the time who just go round in circles year after year and change after change, making the same mistakes and following the same patterns, and it's really easy to do. So even when they think they're making a change, on reflection you look at it and actually they haven't really. So how are you deciding what career to choose? Now here's a tip. It's got nothing to do with your qualifications or your previous or existing work experience. It's all to do with your personality. That thing that makes you, you. So if you really want to discover what career you should be doing, doing and you, or you want to even test that idea, then I urge you to take a career personality test and find a career that is in harmony with your core personality. You see, the most successful people in the world are already doing exactly that. And unfortunately, the unhappy ones are not. And it kind of comes down to something as simple as that. So let me summarise this short video so that you can maybe take something away with you today and have a think about it. The first thing is, you cannot use CV-based recruitment to change careers. You need an alternative. You cannot look to your previous work experience or qualifications to genuinely analyse and decide what you should be doing with your life. You need to find a career that is in harmony with your core personality type. Okay, so that's me for today. This is Martin Gibbons and you've been watching Career Psychometrics and we'll catch you on the next video.